For 25 years, cities have been the engines of your progress in Sid Meier's Civilization. Civilization VI brings an innovative new way of managing cities by allowing you to build out from your home tile and across the world map. Each city will still consist of one home tile, but there are now districts surrounding the city. Districts are specialized for different tasks, such as research, growth, culture, or production. There are many different kinds of districts in Civilization VI. Some civs will have unique districts only they can construct. Each district contains buildings that support its role. The campus is used to boost the science of a city. After researching writing as a technology, you'll be able to construct a campus in your cities. The library is the first building built on the campus. Later, during the medieval era, you'll research education and be able to construct a university. Finally, during the modern era, you'll be able to build the research lab once you've discovered chemistry. Each time you build a building on the campus, it will increase the amount of science that city is producing. The location of a district is important. Districts can be built in a valid tile outside the city. A district can be given a bonus by placing it next to certain features. Our campus, for example, gets a bonus when it is built near a mountain or rainforest. Other districts will have their own adjacency bonuses. Wonders, too, require their own tile for placement and may have requirements for where they can be placed. The pyramids, for example, must be constructed on a floodplain or desert. Theater districts benefit from being built adjacent to a wonder. The Great Library can only be built adjacent to a campus. Spread your cities across the land as you master districts, a major new addition in Sid Meier's Civilization VI.